Hi friends. So it seems like it's time for me to give another reality check to a lot of people and once and for all end the debate about religious conversions, whether they are actually happening or it's a fake propaganda. For that, I did some research and I came up with some really good data. This data is available online, everyone can access it. Let's look at the first data that we have with the population growth rate. We see that the Hindu population growth rate is about 2% and the Muslim population growth rate is about 12%. There is obviously very drastic change in demographics. Now people will say the change is happening because we all know that a certain community likes to have more children and that might explain this growth rate. So you know what, we have data for birth rate as well. So let's look at this chart which shows the distribution of birth rates and if you do a little math then you can find out the birth rates of the Hindu population and Muslim population. I will write down the calculation in my tweet because I can't explain it so much on the video. So you will see that the birth rate of Muslims is 2% whereas their growth rate is 6%. Now how in the world can you explain this difference of 4%? Where are these people coming from. And 4% is not less, mind you. If the population is about 88 lakhs, 4% number would mean 35,000 people each year where they are coming from. Are they dropping from the sky? Are they rising from the graves? What is an explanation for that, right? I mean, you take that number to the court and the court will say that technically you can't prove that these numbers are conversion numbers. Well, we can't prove because there is no way of recording data. We don't record conversion data. It's not like if I get converted tomorrow, I'm going to go and record it in some government place. You record your marriages, you record your birth, you record record your death, but you don't record conversion. So conversions just go undocumented and all these data and surveys and all that you're seeing that people are trying to convince you with that oh, only 50 women got converted, only 20 women got converted. These are all just mere surveys. You go and ask 10 people, you ask 20 people, did you get converted? You think that even if they did convert, they'll tell you they'll get converted. It's such a sensitive topic. It's such a private subject. People are not going to tell that, especially in a survey. So these kind of data cannot be trusted. But the data that I'm showing you is hardcore data. This is data from government's official sources. And these are data available online. I have showed you the calculation. The birth rate is 2%. The growth rate is 6%. There is a discrepancy of 4%. We don't know where they're coming from. So now the onus lies on you. And whoever is watching this video, this is an open challenge. Give us a logical explanation that explains where these 35,000 Muslims every year are coming in Kerala. What explains the discrepancy between the birth rates and the growth rates? And if you can prove it to me, I'm going to quit making these videos and apologize. But if you cannot prove it, then keep your mouth shut.